Okay, ladies, I owe you an apology. I have been gatekeeping what I think is the best breast cancer screening test we have, and I'm not going to gatekeep anymore because the New York Times just posted about it. So let's talk about contrast mammography. Now, I was afraid to tell you about contrast mammography because I was afraid you were going to all run out to your doctor's office and demand contrast mammography, rightfully so, and it's not approved for breast cancer screening yet. Hi, I'm Dr. Robin Roth, aka The Booby Docs. I'm an associate professor of radiology specializing in breast imaging, and I think that contrast mammography should be the gold standard for breast cancer screening, especially in women with dense breast tissue, and here's why. Contrast mammography is essentially like a mammogram and an MRI had a baby. It's able to detect the microcalcifications of DC. CIS that could really only be seen in mammography, but it has the added benefit of contrast administration. So it gives a physiologic component. So anything that's abnormal will enhance. And this is an iodine-based contrast, which is the same contrast we use in CT scans rather than an MRI, which uses gadolinium. It's also much quicker, cheaper, and more accessible than breast MRI. And you know how I talk about how mammography can be limited in women with dense breast tissue? Well, contrast mammography completely overcomes breast density and makes it disappear. In fact, a recent study in The Lancet that made headlines of the New York Times looked at over 6,000 women in the UK ages 50 to 74 that had dense breast tissue and a negative mammogram over a four-year period. And they found that supplemental abbreviated breast MRI and contrast mammography found three times as many invasive tumors as automated whole breast ultrasounds, and also the tumors were half the size as those compared to automated breast ultrasound. Contrast mammography found an additional 15.7 cancers per thousand women compared to full field digital mammography, which by the way is not even what we use, we use 3D mammography, but still. Additionally, contrast mammography found two times as many cases of DCIS compared to abbreviated breast MRI, and automated whole breast ultrasound found no DCIS which is why we don't use ultrasound to detect for microcalcifications of DCIS. MRI had a slightly higher sensitivity but lower specificity, meaning that MRI led to more unnecessary biopsies. I hate to do this, but come back for part two.